Boston Dynamics has created a new robot. These robots are incredible, and I love them. I love sci-fi, especially robots, aliens, and monsters. And in this case, science is already eclipsing the fiction. The robots Boston Dynamics are rolling out are making the Terminator look clumsy and awkward. The newest one is called Atlas, or BAMF, badass mofo, and he can do backflips. Will these robots be used for saving people or annihilating them? What's your opinion? You can put that in the comments. Robots like this could be used to save people by going into a nuclear reactor that is melting down, such as what happened in Fukushima. The robot could withstand the radiation, whereas the human would need to be the equivalent of a suicide pilot going in on a rescue mission. The robots would also be invulnerable to a lot of chemical or biological weapons. They could be used to rescue people from burning buildings or tirelessly excavate the rubble after an earthquake to save human lives. They can go in and take out a sniper. But I have to ask myself the hard question of whether one of these bad boys would more likely show up in my lifetime to save my life or to extinguish it. Depending on who you are and where you live and what your ideology and beliefs are, you could have a different gut feeling about this. I can't help but think it's a numbers game and the numbers have dollar signs in front of them. In such a case, I know my net worth isn't anywhere near the cost of building one of these robots. Do I imagine that anyone really gives a hoot about saving my life? But if you are the enemy of those in possession of the robots, then it's just a question of extinguishing your life, which may take one bullet and is highly cost effective. Of course, the robot would have no reason to come after me, unless they were just sweeping the landscape, taking out all the unwanted refuse of humankind that wasn't a part of a select number reserved for survival. More likely, the enemy is going to be considered a terrorist. From the looks of the robots and their particular aptitudes, including opening doors and going upstairs, I imagine they'd be quite useful after a bombing campaign in a city to go in and wipe out their surviving opposition. It's time to rewrite the Terminator series, because what I see here is not that the robots and artificial intelligence will team up to go on a rampage against humans, but rather that humans could use them against other humans. The robots are not conscious, and therefore they don't have free will. No matter how sophisticated they are and intelligent, they are still just following orders. And like the chess computer Deep Blue that beat the world's greatest chess champ at the time, Garry Kasparov, they don't even know they exist. Deep Blue didn't even know it was playing chess any more than your toaster knows it's burning a Pop-Tart. Here's an artwork I made a while back about conscious robots. Here they've achieved consciousness. They were designed and constructed to do so. That's why their heads have a big brain on top. It's kind of split open and you can see inside of it. And they pose such a threat to humanity that they were being killed while still on the end of the assembly line. So the one in the center sees what's coming for him next. And number two, they have numbers. He's about, it's about to dawn on him, his terrible fate. But this is just about the terrible threat that these robots pose. You can zoom in and get a closer look. It's a uh, digital impasto. It's a technique I developed. Let's keep in mind how much harder it is to make a huge robot do a graceful backflip than it is to integrate guns or other weaponry into its mechanism. The backflip is infinitely more difficult. I made another digital painting a while back of this sort of technology going horribly awry and the robot shoots up a surrendering mutated human with guns affixed to its head. Seems like a good place to put them because the robot can shoot wherever it's looking and keeps its hands free. Of course, robots need not look like humans at all. This was just art and my robot was a bit retro because I like retro sci-fi. But if I can think of putting the guns on the head, a team of experts would have already come up with thousands of better ideas. In short, if we want to make these robots into unstoppable killing machines, we already have the know-how. Here's a close-up of this piece. Okay, so this is the worst case scenario of what these robots could be used for. This could all be fine and good, I suppose, if the robots were to be combating the bad guy, as long as the bad guy isn't, say, just people who tweeted caricatures of Trump, I'm guilty, or are trying to save a rainforest. 
If we look at history, our weaponry, from the atom bomb to napalm to drone strikes, have the undeniable tendency to take out innocent, vulnerable people. It may not even be a question of whether these robots are fighting on the side of the good or not, but really just if they are fighting on your side or not. And if they're not on your side, or the side of God or history or whatever, you're in deep shit. As someone said in the comments section of one of the robot videos, call me old school, but I'd rather be killed by a human. Here's one more piece by me, just for your amusement. The robots could also be used to fight alien invaders. Let's hope that's the case. Boston Dynamics, I hope your robots are going to be used for ethical purposes and saving human lives, because that would be awesome.